All right, I just um, we're continuing now. I just did a quick segue um, to uh, what do you call it? To make sure I didn't lose the episode because that would be horrible. All right. Um, get this over here. Yeah. There we go. Turn this off. Turn this off. Yeah, we can't lose our rhythm. We got a good rhythm here. We know what to do, so let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Look at this. We'll stay in this light. Turn this off. Yeah. Turn this off as well. And we'll turn this off as soon as this comes back. Yep. Yeah, that's another thing. It takes a while to actually turn the light off, too. I noticed that. Yeah, we, and again, we don't even need this one in the corner. We can just ignore that. We can just ride this straight to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is so difficult to use. That The one we're heading to right now, that's the one that always gets me. If you can actually turn off the other one there. Oh no! Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I can turn off the way back. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Holy crap, I almost made a big blunder there. Okay, so now I have to take into account the new one, and I'm not even sure where that one goes. From here. Okay, it goes. Oh, it actually goes a distant or a decent way. Can I get to it from this way again? Oh, I can, okay. And I have to ride it up here, I think. There we go. Okay, turn that on and then turn this one off. Holy crow, okay. Um, and do we need to turn this one on? It looks like it, yeah. So, okay, let's try and think this out before we go straight to the exit here. Actually, oh, we probably could if we just... Yeah, okay. Let me try this. Oh, I made it! Holy crap! Okay, we did it! A whole final boss time! Wow, okay. Damn, that was a nice final room. Okay. Here we go. The final boss, the principal. Here he is. Actually, I could probably just finish the game right here and now, I think. Yeah. He's like, take a seat. Yeah. Yeah. I love that pose he does there. Alright, final boss. And he'll actually just wait for you, I think, at this point. But he is very hard. Um, and I love the music here. I th and I'll show you why he's so difficult, because he... because he does that right away. Oh, dang it. Yeah, he, he'll re, uh, reform the windows. He's the only enemy in the game that can. Get those both. And get the cherry bomb. We got him. Oh, it still did that too. Okay, so let me... What's the best plan of action? I think that's the first move. There. And I can get another bomb. Do I use it to... Where do I go from there? There's a TV remote down there. If I can break that and then quickly run across in time... I could get to that one, but... I'm gonna have to be really fast to do so. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's possible unless... No, because then I'm back where I started. Oh, and you can't even do them again, okay. Dang, alright. You do have to cherry bomb him too, I know that. But you obviously can't from the start because you need to get some ground on him. 
Yeah, dude, he always does that one first. Um, oh, no, we don't want to throw it there. Get it from here? No. Okay. Let's try this. Oops. <laughs> okay, that obviously doesn't work. I'm glad that the final boss doesn't actually attack you straight away. It's a very nice change of pace. Yeah, I could attack him. The thing is, if he would get the one here first, then I could do it, because I could get across from here to the next window. But I can't do that. Um, unless I can get the bomb right there. Yeah. I think I can do that. Can I get this bomb? No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, because we can just barely get this one time. Yeah, sometimes not even. Uh, can I change the perspective here? No, I don't think so. I think this is the best one. I can, yeah, I can get a pretty good head start there. And I can cherry bomb him. Uh, I don't, dude, I don't know what to do from here. I can get up there to another bomb. But does he have a picture of himself? That's pretty funny. Well, yeah, I can only shoot there, and then from there, I'm not sure what to do. Unless I can get all the way over there in time. Maybe we'll try that for an experiment. I don't know. I'll just immediately run across here, dude. I don't think I can even pass him. I don't think so. Hang on. I'll try it again real quick. The second experimentation. No, you can't pass him. Okay. So, yeah, you can't do that. Do you have to go back down? Oh, wait a minute. I think I might know what you can do here. Hang on. If we do this. And if we cherry bomb him before we can get the other one in time. No, he's still got it. See, here's what I'm thinking. This light will go down here. If we can get another cherry bomb on the way back, we can blast these two out as well. But that might not be easy. But this definitely has to be done first, I think. Yeah, it's... Oh, there's just so little time to do things. As soon as you throw that first one, it's like you have to get moving right away. Maybe I can't attack him until I get back down again? I don't think I have the time for that. Oh, there is a light over there. Okay. If I could get there, that might help. But I don't think I can without that other light. Oh, that got me. Oh, dang it. Yeah, man, um, I'll have to keep thinking that. I think I'll probably cut a lot of this out, for sure. But I'll experiment with it. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, see, there's this other bomb that I can see right... Hang on. Nope right there, and I don't seem to be able to reach it. No. Okay, we need to really plan this. See, because when this happens, I can get that bomb, but from there, what do I do? There's that light, but I can only get it. It seems like I, I have to pass through it, but I can't. Unless it's like super particular with how you do it. The TV remote down there. We have to do it up there, that's the only option. If we could get there, actually, you know what? I think I might know what to do next, hang on a second. 
to get both of these. Get this. And stay in this one, and then get this one. Oh, damn it, yeah. It's just, you have so little time. The fact that the cherry bombs have to have this motion movement as well, yeah, that takes more time away from you. Yeah, see, I'm trying to throw it there, but I can't, because <laughs> the damn thing doesn't register. Because so if I'm there, I shoot up there, and then I can hit that one. Uh, I might be able to do that, actually. But no, because how am I going to get that light in the middle if he does that so quickly? Oh, see, I was trying to select the bomb there, but it didn't work. It was on the flashlight instead. <sighs> See, I keep trying to use it. I panic because I have such little time and the bomb doesn't work. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, I just feel like the time it would take for me to go in the third person and all that wouldn't be worth it. Maybe it would be, though. Yeah, no, you, I push the button and straight away I'm done. Which window does he remove first there, I wonder? That might actually be a hint as to which one I have to do something with. Yeah, maybe. What? No, with this. Yeah, because he, he does that one first and the other one's the relevant one. Yeah, oh, th that's annoying because the bomb is not the default. Every time I use one, it switches back to the flashlight, which means I have to push B to get it back. And there's a delay to that. So, oh, that's, that's not huge. Oh, that, actually, I think that would have worked had I been a little bit more to the left. I keep trying to use it, but it doesn't work. I just wish time would slow down to give you the chance to use that bomb properly. Or if you didn't have to do the throwing thing, if you could just push a button, <laughs> that would make it easier as well. Yeah, see, oh, I'd have to switch it, and I don't have any time to do so. Yeah. Okay. Nope, and I misstep too, because I'm I'm focusing on where I'm aiming the bomb more so than where I'm walking. Yeah, see there, uh, you have to like pretty much know where that's coming. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can... Yeah, see, here's the thing, like, if I do this, stand here... Uh, yeah, you have so little time. And so, and there, I did it twice, and it didn't work until the second time. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh God damn it! I don't want to have to resort to a walkthrough either, because if I can actually do this on my own, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, see, I'm trying to shoot it, but I can't. It's not fast enough. Unless maybe this is the wrong thing to do, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, see, that's too late. I don't like having to throw it like that. I want to just push a button. Oh, man. Oh. What, that happened last time, didn't it? I wish you could be in first person the entirety of this fight. It would make it a lot easier, I think. Yes, that should have counted! I should have got that! So maybe I'm doing it wrong. See, that just seems to make the most sense to me, because if I could do that, 
then I could um, get a bomb as well there and get the remote as well. I have to hit that and then I have to go back. Do I only have to hit one of those maybe? Or is there a way I can... Hang on, let me experiment here. Can I get both of these lights at once? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, yeah, this is ridiculous. I hope that... Hmm, part of me hopes that is the answer, and part of me hopes it isn't, because if it is, then you have to be so freaking fast to get it. If it isn't, then... Oh yeah, see, yeah, look at this, I can't, I can't do it if I'm fast enough. And if we turn this on, I think we might have some leeway here. Okay, what's the TV do? Oh, he turns that off too? Oh my god, I thought he just turned off the windows. Okay, well that is what you have to do then. I thought I'd be safe there for a little while, but I wasn't. Oh, that is so finicky, holy crap. Yeah, because I got really far that time. Okay. Well, <laughs> far compared to usual, anyway. Yeah, and he does that one first, too. It makes sense that he would, though, because you don't need that one for as long as you need the other one. Because you need that one to get the remote and the, um... I don't know what you, what you call up. Wait, okay, I'm, I'm legitimately considering, can you get the bomb that's right next to him like this? It looks like you should, because if you can, that'll give you extra time for that part that's super crunched for time later. But I don't think you can. Nope, okay. Ugh. It's so fast, yeah. You have no time to think. You just have to do. And then that happens and that freaking thing doesn't work. Okay. Come on, get this. Get the remote. Ah, oh, could I not have reached it that time? I like how the music is very calming, but this actual thing is so ridiculously tense. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to see that the way you aim the bomb at the top window is actually um, fairly lenient, I think. Do throw it! I was trying to throw it, but the thing wouldn't respond again. Okay. That's also pretty lenient, that corner there. That time I was aiming more towards the middle one, and it still got both of them. <sighs> See that? Also, you have to be so freaking head. The hardest part is hitting the second window at the top. Because he's gonna attack it right away. Oh, please, no, no, no. <sighs> now we can't win it. That, it. that getting the remote is also really finicky. And I'm not sure what the TV does yet either, because I've gotten it to turn on, but I'm not sure what it actually accomplishes. <sighs> okay. Let's keep going. I was off. And I love how the uh, the principal actually is very slow in what he does too. Like, this whole scene is such a combination of being incredibly tense and incredibly like soothing as well. Yeah. Like he doesn't attack you at all until you start. It didn't work again. Yeah, I think that what happened that time is that it was still in the flashlight. I wish you could just completely, like, have just bombs be active at this point, because having to switch back between the two, 
does take up a lot of time, it can be confusing. Yeah. It may not look like it, but it is. Okay, now can I get this freaking remote here? Okay, it's to the right, I have to remember that. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Part of me is thinking, should I leave in all the attempts of the final boss to show how hard it really is? Because I know if you look it up online, the lit final boss, it doesn't look that hard. But, oh, did that not hit him? No, I think I can't win now. Because it didn't hit him. Yeah. Darn, I thought that was very lenient. That it would hit, pretty much hit, always hit the window and him, but I guess not. Okay. I guess not. Oops. Alright. I'm curious what happens after that point, too, because I've never gotten beyond that. Yeah, that's the problem. You have to be so fast for that part. I think he's... Yeah, and he's too fast if you don't hit him. Yeah. I see that now, okay. I kind of like that they did that, though, because it's basically the game's way of saying, okay, you can't win now. Oh, aiming at him for that part is so hard. I really love the final boss music in this game, though. It sounds even better in the soundtrack version. It's changed slightly in the game itself. Yeah, it takes him a while to recover, so I can get all this other stuff. Oh, I was just about to push it, damn it. Okay, well, you know what I should do? I should plan out what happens after I turn that thing on. Because when I do turn it on, I could use it to get to that, get the bomb, and hit him right away. Is that... No, there's a bomb down here, too. Oh, okay. Do I have to just ridiculously like, shoot up crap ton of bombs at them at the end? Or is there a time I have to use a bomb instead of actually... Um... Yeah, to hit him instead of hitting something else, maybe. Like, maybe if I use this one as well. To get both of these. Oh, I can't reach that, damn it. I'm probably done now. But I want to see what else happens. Oh, you, you can get it with this, okay. Oh, I think I probably could have got him there if I was a little bit faster. Because I had two bombs, and I was right in front of him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we've almost got this, actually. It might not take me as long to beat him as I thought. I just have to be very exact with how I do this, that's all. Alright, let's try it again. Oh, Jesus. That was lucky that that was the one case where you kind of do have a little bit of leeway. No, oh, again, the throw! Why can't it be a button? Oh my god. Yeah, that's one of the things, the hugest gripes about the Wii is like, when you don't have a more exact way of determining what it is you're doing, you know? There we go. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Yep. Oh, that did hit him, but I guess I was just a little too far. That is also really annoying, that part there. When that vertical one shows up. Oh, I can't make this. Yeah. That freaking flashlight always gets me. Because you have to shoot right away. You have no time to kill. God, again! The freaking throwing thing didn't work. Oh, man. Okay. We're getting a good visit here, though. Again, too slow. That one part is so difficult. 
you just have such little time, and I wonder if there's another way that I should go about doing it. Like, am I doing it wrong? I don't think so, because at the end, just that attempt that I did not too long ago, I was right in front of him, and I had like two bombs. So I think I probably could have finished him off there if I was fast enough. And that didn't get him, so I have to restart. Yeah. You have to be so freaking lucky. That's the most difficult part of this whole thing, is landing that hit. Yeah. That first hit on him. Oh, the freaking flashlight again! I, okay, I want to rewatch that one actually because I'm pretty sure I had the bomb out, but it made the sound of the, the flashlight. Yeah, see, that should have worked. You just have to be that fast. Even if you're in the right position, it doesn't matter. As soon as he attacks that first window, you're done. Okay. Again, that barely worked. That freaking throw I had to do it like three times. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, I'd like to beat this game today. That would be pretty awesome. I'm at the final boss, man. It's just between me and him at this point. Dude, how the hell? Oh my god. Like, I did it. I, I've done it a couple times. It's just so freaking fast. You have to be ridiculously quick there. Oh man, okay. Oops. Again, that happened. Did you see that? Oh, no. Those two parts are easy. Those two ways of Yes, Yeah, see, it did it again! It, it literally did it. I had that out and it made the sound of the flashlight. There must be a glitch or something. And that's not good if it is, because that really affects your ability to... ...to uh, beat this boss. I mean, I'm, he's beatable, I know that, but... ...it really makes it a lot harder than it has to be. If it keeps doing that. Yeah, you have no time there. You have to be so fast. It makes me wonder, is it possible to actually hit him on the first go? <sighs> Again, this freaking throwing mechanic doesn't work. Okay, here we go. It didn't work again! Oh my god, that's really annoying. I have to say... Ugh. Oh, that time I was too early. Okay. Yeah, I just wish the flashlight was a different button so it didn't cycle through those two all the time. Yeah, ugh, good lord. There we go, we got lucky that time. So then I hit him again, right? Yeah. Get this, and then this. And the bomb here. Can I hit him right now? Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to click that! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh man, just these little, little design things, man. They're starting to get to me in the final battle. That A does everything and the throwing thing. Yeah. Oh. Because I was trying to throw a bomb at him there, not do that. Alright. Uh, again with the glitch! Oh my god! It keeps doing that! I have the bomb out, but it uses the flashlight. I don't know why it does that. You have literally a split second to do that, wow. Okay, that's alright. We'll still do it. Just need a little bit of luck here. Of getting the right shot straight away. And not having that glitch happen. Yeah. I 
wish the bomb was slightly closer as well. That is the hardest part by far. Just that one part. Oh man. There we go. Oh, that time. So I'm gonna shoot him straight away. Oh, I missed it. Okay, now I can't win. Oh man. It is so tense. Like, you have to be exact every time. That's the one, the only place you have a little bit of lenience is that one spot at the beginning. Oh, why couldn't it be a button, man? Why couldn't it be a button? Oh, okay. Yeah. I am kind of glad that more my games in the modern age don't use motion controls as much. At least when it matters like this. If it's for a gimmick, then sure, but, you know, if it really matters, then it's going to be a problem. Okay. Well, hey, the one thing I'm glad about is that at least there isn't, like, an electronic, like, right next to him or something that you need to do exactly. Yeah. God. Okay. I wonder if there is another way of doing this that I'm not doing properly. Okay, I need to make sure I get him. There we go. Okay, I'll make sure I'm using a bomb this time. There we go. This one. Yes! Oh, I did him in. Finally, holy crap. Oh, that was hard. And the funny thing is, it was mostly difficult just because of the freaking shake to throw mechanic. Oh my god. But we did it. We beat the principal, we beat the final boss, and by extension, the game. Damn. And I think we got the best ending, too. Let's see. There she is. Safe and sound. Hey, you. Hey, you. How are you doing? You have a very pretty eye. I can't see the other one. And that's the end. Yep, it leaves on a very ambiguous note. It's like, well, what happens after that? We'll never know. But the credits music is very good. So that's lit for the WiiWare, and holy crap, what an adventure that was. Um, it got very hard near the end, and I'm probably going to have to cut out a lot of my unsuccessful attempts of uh, the different levels and bosses because, yeah, at starting at 118, it just, the difficulty ramped up like crazy. Um, but still, um, very good though. The puzzles were very well uh, thought out and the logic made perfect sense. I do have a couple gripes with the game though. Number one, as you'll be able to tell from the, the final battle that I just did, the motion controls um, were a little iffy. It wasn't really that bad for the most part because when you're not doing a boss fight like that, it doesn't really matter if you take your time to aim and flick the thing. And it doesn't really matter if it doesn't respond right away either, because you have plenty of time. But in that battle, that really came to, to bite me. Um, and another design thing, I wish the A button didn't do everything, because there are so many times in the game where you're trying to use an item, but you're next to a lamp, and you'll turn the lamp off because that is, uh, takes priority over the items. So you can really get screwed uh, by that, unfortunately. I wish they would have used the C button for something like that, because to my knowledge, C doesn't do anything. Z does, it changes your perspective, but C I think was fine. So I wish that C would have been um, to use items, or no, if C was to turn on things, and A was to use items or something to that degree, but um, unless I'm mistaken, maybe C does do something and I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. Um, and another issue I have is it only came up in two rooms, room 117 and room 118, where it was not exactly obvious that you could walk across a certain gap, because it was a really small gap and you wouldn't know that. Oh, Nintendo Power's on there, well, that's a sign that this is an old game. Google and Wikipedia, wow, we're thanking everybody in here, IGN, alright, um, but even so, that alone does not make this game a bad game. This game is amazing. I love it. Um, and I wish there was more. I wish they had made a sequel to this that further explained the story. But you know what you can do when you beat the game? Rachel is now beside us in the um, 
uh, on the title screen. So you can actually play the game again as Rachel, and you get different phone calls because you get calls from Jake. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll play through as Rachel or not. We'll see um, if I get enough um, good things about this game in the uh, uh, in the comments. Maybe I will. I'll just show the map off uh, while I'm talking, so I don't have to keep aiming at the screen. But um, yeah, lit, great game. I'm really glad I played it, and I'm glad I could have shared it. Um, what else do I have to say about it? I really like the soundtrack, and yeah, way forward. Um, I doubt they're watching this, but if they are, you guys should really consider a sequel. <laughs> I'd love to see a sequel, but I don't know if it'll happen, because this game didn't really get super popular, unfortunately, but who knows? Uh, one thing I would like to see, though, since this game was recently remade for the iOS and phones and such, I would like to see this game ported to the Wii U eShop or the Nintendo Switch shop, if I'm imagining that'll have something similar. It's not out as of the time of this recording, but it probably will be quite soon, or maybe it might be up by the time this video comes out, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I would love to see this game re-released so that it can be played by a broader audience instead of just some lucky guy who finds a Wii Points card and manages to use it, so anyway, I think I've gone on long enough. Um, thanks for watching Lit, um, and maybe I'll see you with uh, some more of the extra content in this game later with the Rachel playthrough, or um, another thing I should point out, difficulty, there's light and dark. If you do dark mode, it's basically hard mode, you have a time limit for every stage, um, and uh, it, of course it's way harder due to that, so. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching everybody, that was Lit, uh, see you all next time in whatever I do, and thanks so much for watching, so bye for now.